here with Sound Tigers head coach Scott Peller and following a 4-1 win over the Norfolk Admirals. And, and coach, we kind of talked a little bit recently about the top line uh, having a little bit of a struggle. Uh, and tonight came alive, Brock Nelson with three and Nino with the deflection. Well, you know, we, obviously you have to have your good players uh, produced uh, to have success. But uh, we talked earlier before the game uh, on the radio about, you know, the secondary scoring we've been getting to kind of keep us going. And But it was good to see Brock, uh, um, you know, have a real solid game here uh, tonight and uh, to get a hat trick. And it's a special thing to get a hat trick in the American Hockey League. It's not something that happens all the time. Uh, and I thought Nino played a real solid overall, like, complete game for him, I thought. Uh, uh, his positional play, his hard work down low, uh, his puck protection, he made some good uh, decisions with the puck. And for him to be rewar rewarded on a, on a deflection goal by a lot of hard work by uh, Mike Halmo on that play. So it was a good, uh, a good line effort uh, tonight. The special team is a key in this one with so many penalties being called. Power play with two of them. And the penalty kill, which had struggled a little bit over the last few games, uh, came alive and had a couple big kills, including a five-on-three midway through the second. Well, we, we've you know we've been working really hard on our on our special teams. Uh, you know, penalty kill wise, uh, we've put in a lot of time, a lot of video, a lot of meetings. Uh, but we haven't been able to get a lot of success recently. We've seen we've always given up that one play or that one situation that's cost us, and our percentages have has dropped. But um, you know, the body of work that we did tonight was we had a lot of challenges, uh, especially like you said, the five on three. Uh, but I thought our guys uh, responded, and we tightened up a couple of fundamental um, um, skills that we needed to do to have success, and the guys uh, were coachable in that end of it, and um, they, they executed. You like to really score lines, and in, in a game like this, it doesn't happen all that often. Is it nice to have guys like Johnny in the back and on the penalty kill and power play and throw yeah. Costello in a little bit? I, I agree. I, I agree. I think, you know, I, I, I planned on that. Um, you know, tonight and over the weekend because I knew coming off the All-Star break and not getting a lot of practices um, and having so many days off and then getting back into it at a three on three, a three and three, um, I knew I had to use my whole bench and especially tonight. Um, and guys were getting different roles in different situations. And I thought, uh, you know, Bax is a, a very good example of a guy that uh, was given an opportunity as a right shot uh, to get uh, some power play time and he was able to uh, uh, to make some good, smart plays uh, on his special teams, whether it was power play or penalty kill. And Kevin Pullen makes his third start in three nights. Uh, comes up, especially after last night, battling through that one. Tonight, uh, he was superb in that, giving up the one goal on 27 shots and, and seemed to control his rebounds pretty well, too. He was doing a great job with that. I thought that uh, you know the one goal was a quick rebound off the screen. Like you said, it was a five on three, uh, quick rebound to him. Uh, other than that, I thought that he controlled his rebounds and he was able to uh, to get a lot of shots that are kind of off his pads, off his stick into the netting to kind of kill the plays and, and kind of slow the game down when we needed to. Uh, especially uh, you know in the second period, I thought when uh, when we were running around or it was late, you know even on the on on on, um, on our penalty kill. So uh, he was really uh, really uh, smart in his decision making and that regard and also I thought he uh, he moved the puck very well how important was it tonight <laughs> how important was it tonight to come back and, and pick up the two points especially after a hard fought win in Hartford and, and how tight the standings are how big was it to come back and not have a letdown here tonight I, I think it's huge I think uh, you know we talked about the importance of games now and you know we're game 45 right now uh, we've kind of haven't had the best 10 game segment that we've we've talked about since uh, uh, since coming back from um, you know from Christmas, um, I thought that it was something that uh, guys have to be accountable and we have to find a way. I thought we weren't we weren't just playing a complete game. We weren't connected, and I think that um, uh, the hard work that our, my assistant coaches have done, Eric Boganicki, Doug Holowa, and Eric Carnes uh, Carnes has been here with us. I think we've kind of all put it together here tonight. It was a more of a complete game that uh, that we have to kind of build on. Here with Sound Tigers forward Brock Nelson following a 4-1 win over the Norfolk Admirals. And Brock, your first pro hat trick. Had to feel good after ha not having a goal since coming back from the injury. Yeah, it was, uh, it was big. You know, we, uh, we kind of owed those guys from when we went down to Norfolk uh, before the All-Star break and they uh, swept us. So it's good to come back out here in uh, the third game in three nights. So the guys battled hard and uh, we were able to get a big win. Just talk about coming back from that injury after having missed almost a month. Um, did, did it take a little while to get your, your legs back under you? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think, you know, taking, uh, you know, three, four weeks off was definitely tough. You know, watching the guys play and not, uh, not be able to be out there with them and uh, being able to skate. So uh, it took a little bit, and I think now it's, uh, you know, it's, it's came back, and I think uh, I feel good, and the guys, uh, you know, guys have been playing well. Talk about getting the win tonight after going into Hartford, coming back, earning a big win against the division rival. Tonight, 
you know, coming back and, and coming away with an important win. Yeah, it's a, it's a good start for us. You know, it's five out of six points this weekend, so that was a big, uh, you know, come from behind. I think Pelly told us last night after the second we uh, we hadn't won a game going into the third down, so that was big. And then coming back tonight and taking another step forward was, uh, you know, good for our team and good, uh, you know, a good building block for us to keep going forward. You guys really needed the penalty kill tonight, and you know, been, been up and down, but it came through tonight. What was the biggest thing to work for you guys? Uh, you know, just uh, being hard, uh, hard out there. You know, quick. Uh, you know, short rails. You know, hard on pucks, being in the right spot, communicating. I think is the biggest thing when you're out there. You know, down a man or two. So, uh, Pooley played great behind us, so that you know it gives us confidence, knowing that he's going to stop all the pucks from anywhere. Uh, you know, they get shots. So, it was uh, it was a good, uh, good back one for our, for our structure tonight to get the win. Here with the Sound Tigers goaltender Kevin Pooling following a 4-1 win over the Norfolk Admirals and Pooley third third game in three nights, but uh, no no uh, show of any kind of fatigue out there. 26 saves and a big win. Uh, yeah, three games in three nights. Uh, it, it was a it was the first time for me this year, and I think uh, I did great. But uh, the team in general, uh, we play an unbelievable match today. Uh, the D in their D zone, uh, it was uh, everything was clear and uh, simple talk about you know you mentioned you hadn't played three and three since last season last season there were stretches where you'd play five six seven games uh you, you kind of knew what to expect going into tonight uh but how did you feel overall um yeah i think the last uh eight game i've been playing the seven or something like that so uh, i was really uh i'm really in the zone right now i like to play and the more i play the, the more i'm happy and uh, uh, just feel more comfortable a lot of penalties tonight in both ways, and you guys really needed the penalty kill tonight. What, what did you see as the biggest thing that worked for you guys on the PK? Uh, biggest thing was I think we put a lot of pressure today, and we were good on rebounds. Uh, we were talking a lot. I was talking a lot to uh, the D, uh, either for a back door or a screen, and uh, they did a really good job to uh, clearing the puck.